Let's jump into Keyshot and actually take a quick look at the CMF document in action. All right, so this scene that I have open here is a demo scene in the welcome window. So you guys can feel free to check this out. It's pre-filled out with everything you need to get started. It's a really great reference point. And as I mentioned, um, the whole process of the CMF documentation tool is basically two steps, right? So we're gonna first go into tools and then head over to the material information manager. It opens up on library. We're gonna to switch to project, which will show us all of our uh, active materials in this scene. We are working with a lot of multi-materials, um, but you can see that I have already come in and filled out, for example, the color of that material for the outsole, the finish, the material, the vendor, which is Keyshot, um, a reference image. And then I don't have notes here, but it's a simple double click and we can type in some notes if needed, right? Um, and this is what you'll see when you open up that demo scene, if you are curious. And um, let's discuss if you, for example, wanted to add another property up here. So right now we're looking at that default, default uh, those default table properties. But let's say we wanted to add a column for price. We're gonna open up that material schema editor. Um, and you can see we have default selected. And we're gonna navigate down this drop down, select new and um, hit that plus icon, which is gonna give us the option to title, whoops, title that, and then also give us the option of selecting the type. So I'm gonna leave it as text for now. We have the option for image, uh, for example, reference image, obviously has image selected, uh, that makes sense, but we're gonna leave it as text for the price column. Then I'm gonna hit save for this new schema. Um, we'll just call it test for now test and then you can see now it's it's listed here so we can switch back and forth between that default that test um, and we'll hit okay on test and you'll see price is added here and then we can you know enter the price there um, so the material information schema editor is a really great way to kind of set up uh, basically multiple cmf documents that require different property types all right so um Assuming everything is good to go in here, I can, I can close this. I have my material information set and I'm ready to render at this point. So um, I'm gonna head over to the render window and navigate to that CMF tab. And then as I pointed out, these are really the only different settings up here. Um, and the one thing we cannot miss is that setup callouts window. So we'll launch that. And actually before I do this, let me pause my scene just so we don't have any issues with that second window. All right, um, so some of these are filled out. Right now they are, the callouts are based on materials. We can switch to parts. I'm just gonna leave it as materials. That's how the scene comes in the welcome window. Um, and you're just gonna go in and check on and check off which parts or materials in this case you would like to receive a call out. And, um, you know, for example, maybe I don't want the tongue logo or the foxing in this situation, but I do want the outsole. Um, what you might notice is that as you're checking on and off what you want to include, uh, your numbers become out of order, right? So you have the option of coming in and manually changing the number order here, just totally possible. Um, but a real quick fix is just hitting that generate callouts number button, and um, that'll put everything back in numeric order for you. Something else to point out here is that Right now I have this setting unchecked, which just as, as a good example here, um, my material for my, or my part, the lining, which is on the inside of the shoe is not visible to the camera right now, which is why it's grayed out and I can't select it. But in a situation where I might wanna actually show that uh, material, I can go ahead and check this and then check off lining and it will receive that call out. A couple other settings, we've got our call out color. So we can go and change that. And then we have um, the layout settings, either vertical or horizontal. So we'll come in, right? We'll, we'll uh, set up our callouts just, just like this. We can close the window. And then we can just hit render as we normally would. And then let's take a look at what that final document looks like. So this is the final document uh, rendered out in portrait mode. So that gives you that rendered image on the top with those callouts and then followed by a table with all of your material information. So um, it's very neatly laid out. We got a throat strap, right? With the reference image. Um, 
we'll take a look at what landscape looks like. In landscape, we get the image on the right or on the left with our callouts, and then we have our table on the right. So same information, just a different setup depending on what you're looking for.